guys welcome to back to stylish Ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much guys i really appreciate on your support for my channel if you are new to my channel please uh, subscribe to my channel like my video and share my video if you find this um illustration that i'm about to do helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and then subscribe and then also hit on the notification bell to get updates whenever i upload a new video today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut uh how sorry rather how to draft a six pieces gown is a straight six pieces gown it's not going to be having any cuts whatsoever it's just going to be straight from the top down so that's what i'm going to be showing you how to how to draft today so uh, the measurement that I'm actually going to be using, this is actually a draft, but I'm going to be treating it like it's a fabric. So I'm just really going to make it so easy for you in case you have never uh, made a six pieces gown that does not have a cut. With this illustration, I guarantee you, you will be able to do it. So I have some lines imputed uh, already on my pattern paper. So this is the first line I have here is the shoulder line. So my the bust point this is the bust point which is uh, the nipple point and then the under bust line that's this is the under bust line and then the waist line this is the waist line and then the hip line and then my knee line so these are the lines that are um you really need in making a six um, pieces um gown so these are just some of the basic lines so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be taking uh, my center front of the middle point so and in getting that what you need is the your bust span measurement so for this i'm actually going to be making use of eight inches for this um, bust span measurement so in folding your fabric i actually folded at nine inches but because this is a draft but if it is an actual fabric you should go if you don't want a flare that is too big so you can do 10 inches but if you want something that is big you could, you could go with between 12 and 14 inches it will still be okay so now i will take my bust span measurement so bust span is usually uh, divided into two from beginners so i have uh, divided uh, into two so i have four inches so this is my four inches here so i'm just gonna take the four inches here like this four inches four inches and i'm taking it straight to the knee line so i'll just take my long ruler now and then connect my lines together so this is uh like um the dart so for the dart i'll take half an inch from this top left side i'm not working with this side note and then for the bust point i'm leaving it and then the under bust i'll take one inch from this point and then one inch on my waistline measurement so i'm going to be connecting the lines now note i took half an inch from this left side i'm not working with this side and then this point is here and then one inch and then one inch so i'm just going to to connect my lines like this so i'm just bringing it like this to those points like this and then like this down so i'll just take it like this So I have it connected here. So, so I have it here. And then I'm just going to be bringing it down now to my waist line like this. So you can see what I have. So I have my, my curve here. That's for the bust part. And then I'm just going to maintain it like this. So you know, when I get to my, my knee line, I'm stopping here. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is for the down part. I told you initially, it depends on how wide you want it. So for this, I'm, I use nine inches. I'm going to be making use of my entire nine inches. So I'll just take it like this and then make a slant to the edge of my pattern paper like this. So you can see what I have here now. So I'm just going to be cutting it off now. So you can decide to blend this part if it's not blended because it's not actually supposed to be sharp. So I'll cut it out now. So like I said, half an inch here, one inch here, one inch here to give me my middle dart. So you just connect like this and then bring it down and then go. So 
So guys, you can see what I have for my middle piece. So this is like the center. So it is this center piece now. That is what I am going to use now to cut out the side of my, the remaining part of my gown. So this is just like the way we do the normal, but uh, we do the six pieces skirt. So it's just something a little bit similar. So now I'll get more pattern paper and then fold. So I have my pattern paper laid out here again. So for this and that, for this side piece, the way you'll be folding your your fabric, you fold with the measurement of the down um, part of your six pieces gown depends on how wide you actually want the down to be that is what will determine how much fabric you will fold so you, you can you could decide to go between 15 16 17 so it depends on what you want so now i have my center piece now so i'm just going to be taking the center piece and i'm going to be doing it the way we do our six pieces skirt so i'm just going to be placing it like this you can see what i'm you can see what i'm about to do i'm flipping it to this side I'm placing it on top like this backward so and then I'm going to be securing the down part I'm going to be securing it down like this I'll secure it and then I'm just going to be bringing it as close as possible to the edge I'll just bring it like this if it is a, a, a fabric it will be much more easier to do this so I'm just going to be securing it like this because I need to get um, the bustier part of the gown. I need to get it, that's for the center. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to be using this part, I'm going to be tracing out this whole entire side, then before I will now flip and then take the full body measurement. So I need to get the edges correct. So that's just the essence. So I'm just going to be trimming it out like this. So I'll turn it back like this. You can see what I have. I'm turning it back. So I've imputed, um, you can see what I have here. So I've imputed uh, my, my uh, lines back. This is my bust uh, points line under bust waistline the hip line and then the knee line so now i'll be taking my full body measurements now and for this i'm going to be measuring the shoulder so you could decide to do this two ways you could decide to measure like this and then take out the inches from the side or you could decide to place it on top and just take your full body measurement so i'm just going to be taking out the inch from me so i'll take um the the shoulder for this dress is actually 14 inches which is eight inches so this is eight inches you remember this one inch of the dot that i took out so i'm just going to be adding it back here so it's just going to be here now so this is um the shoulder line so i'm just going to take and then connect it I'll use seven inches for my armhole, so I'll just take it like this and then do this. So the middle, the midpoint of it, you could decide to go like this. So, so the midpoint, I'm not, I'm not going to be deliberating on that. So, so I'm just going to do that. Then for the the bust measurement that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be making use of um, 30 inches. So when you divide 30 into 4, you have 7.5. So I'm just going to take it like this. And then measure like this. And then, for since I said I'll treat it like a fabric, if it is a fabric, you can add between 2 and 3 inches allowance to it. So I'll just do that. And then for the under bust measurement, the under bust measurement also is a... Uh, 26 inches when you divide 26 into 4 you have 6.5 so i'm just going to do this this is my 6.5 so i'll just um remember um, this one inch allowance that we remove so i'll add it to it and plus the extra one so it's like this and then i'll connect those lines together like this i'm just going to do this 
So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for the waistline. So you measure the waist also, the waist circumference. For the waist, I'm using 24. So what I'm sorry, I'm using 28. So you divide 28 into 4, you have uh, 7 inches plus this 1 inch of that that we remove. This is 7 inch plus the 1 inch. So I'm just going to connect the line to this point. And then I'll stop. So for my hip part, for the hip part, the hip for this dress is 34 inches. So when you divide 34 into 4, you have 8.5 plus the extra 1 inch that, that I use. That's 9.5. So I'm just going to... So for the knee part, I'm just going to be reducing the knee part. So I'll use 7 inches also for the knee. So I'm just going to be using dotted lines first. And then bring it to my knee point like this. So. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for the down part, you remember initially for this first one, I used a nine inches. So I'm just going to take the down part like this. I'll get this out already. And then for this part, I will decide, I decide to, to increase it. So I'm just going to go with 10 inch on this side. So you can see what I have now. You can see what I have. front piece so the next thing i'm going to be doing now with this front piece i'm going to be cutting out the back piece okay so now for the back piece i have my middle piece like this so i have made out my lines again on my pattern paper so i'm just going to be placing it and then i will be using um between two inches and one and a half inch allowance for the back and zipper allowance so i'm just going to be putting it like this for you to see so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be taking out the measurement for this down part i'm actually not going to be altering it so i'm just going to be going with this measurement the only part where i'll be measuring is this um, top part which is the bust part so i'm just going to be taking it like this what i have here i have um, four inches here so i'm just going to be marking out my four inches like this from those points that's from the zipper allowance part this four inches and then four inches and then four inches four inches just all the way four inches to the nail uh, line four inches so i'm just going to connect it like this i'll join all of them back together just the way i did initially So from this um, down part now, I'm going to be, you can decide to do this two ways. You can decide to put your middle piece back on top like this and then just measure. You could decide to do that just like this. So it depends on what you want or you can just decide to measure straight on your fabric. So and then I'm just going to rule it out like this. So this is the center of uh, the middle piece. This is the center part. So I'll just cut it out and then do the side. So I, I'm just going to be doing both of them together. I'll just follow the same, the same pattern, the same way I did on the other one. So for the side piece, so I'm just going to repeat what I did over again with the, the front part. So this is the, the zipper allowance part. So you just place it like this you can see you just place it on top like this you place it on top the essence of placing it on top is for you to get the edges both edges they have to be the same in order for you to get a perfect cut if they are not the same you will not you won't get it right so i'm just going to do this and then i'll trim it out 
just the same way I did with the front pattern. After trimming out this part, like I said, so the essence of trimming this part is to make sure that the edges are the same. So that's just basically the essence of trimming it so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be inserting my old measurement just like the way i did the front piece taking out all the one one inch that allowance and then adding it to the other side so that's just basically what next i'm going to be doing So this is my back piece so for this you cut out two pieces of this and then two pieces of this so this is the back piece and then the front piece so thank you so much guys i have now come to the end of this illustration if you find it helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button subscribe if you have not subscribed so thank you so much for watching and bye god bless you